everyone and welcome to this day. Today is Friday, April 12th and I'm your host, Bobby Higgins. So happy to be with you on this Friday. Thanks for joining us. We have a great show coming your way. First off, we have Beverly Genero with the Reform Temple of Laguna Woods. Beverly is here to tell us about all their upcoming events, especially the Passover Cedar. And after that, Cole Young joins us. He'll get us updated with this week's Sports Corner. And now let's take a look at today's Stay Informed. You definitely need to come check out the Molten Exhibit before it closes this month on April 28th. The Your Place in Local History Exhibit is displayed at the Laguna Woods History Center located next to the Village Library. You can come see the exhibit between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Monday through Friday, or you can also come by appointment by calling 949 2060150. And now let's take a look at the weather outside. Today it's partly sunny and cool with a high of 68 and a low of 53. Tomorrow on Saturday it'll be cool with a 45% chance of showers. On Sunday it'll be mostly cloudy with a 35% chance of showers. On Monday we'll have partly cloudy skies and Tuesday will bring mostly sunny skies. And that is your weather. Now looking at your sunrise and sunset, one of the nice things about all the rain this time of year is the beautiful blooms. And this one is brought to you by Alan Clark. What a great picture. If you would like to have your photo featured here on this day, we would love to showcase it. So please email them to us at lagunawoodsvillagetv at gmail.com. Stay with us, because up next we have the Reform Temple. But first, here's a look at today's meetings. Power your adventures with the all-electric 2024 Subaru Solterra. It comes with legendary Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive, standard, plus a rugged 8.3 inches of ground clearance. Everything about the Subaru Solterra is advanced, including the technology keeping you and your passengers safe. Love is now electric. Hi, it's Desiree from Irvine Subaru. Get your new Subaru here with complimentary maintenance included. We believe every senior should be able to remain healthy, happy, and at home. At Caring Senior Service, we understand the value of compassion and companionship. Our caregivers promote health, happiness, and independence. We cook nutritional meals, engage in meaningful activities, run errands, do light house cleaning, and more. Call us toll-free at 833-926-3700 or visit our website, CaringSeniorServiceLW.com. Healthy, happy, home. Caring Senior Service. Do you suffer from low back pain? Hogue Orthopedic Institute is the number one provider of orthopedic and spine care in Orange County. Our Back to You program is a unique, non-operative, evidence-based approach to treating low back pain. Our spine strengthening program combines physical therapy with education on pain and nutrition. Let Hogue Orthopedic Institute's Back to You program get you back to doing what you love. For more information, visit hoiexperts.com slash spine or call 855-999-4641 to find a doctor. Reform Temple of Laguna Woods always has a lot going on, and we want to welcome Beverly Jenneru back to the program. Thank you, Michael. It's a pleasure to be here always and to tell you about all the activities and what's going on at the yeah, temple. Absolutely. Now, uh, we have the Seder coming up. That's always a big, the Passover Seder is always a big event at any, any temple, right? Yes, it's a major holiday, and it's coming up very shortly. Um, we'll be having our annual uh, second night Temple Seder. And um, it will be on Tuesday, April 23rd at 6 p.m. in Clubhouse 2. Um, Rabbi uh, Joe will be conducting the Seder, and it's going to include uh, the complete meal, a choice of chicken, brisket of beef, or a vegetable, vegetarian dinner. And reservations must be made by April 13th, so there's still time. Um, the cost is $40 for members and $45 for non-members. And speaking of dining, you guys have a dine around event coming up that's going to be on the 4th in, uh, in May. And so tell us a little bit about what that's, that's about. Sounds interesting. 
Yeah, the diner, diner round is for uh, members. There are a lot of them have already signed up. There's going to be a cocktail reception in the rabbi's uh, rec room, and that's where they will be told where they're going to eat. And they go to different members' homes and have a three-course uh, elegant dinner. Oh, wow. So I think that's a fun event. And there's also another fun event coming um, up. The temple's having a trip to the Sigurdstrom Center to see mm -hmm. Funny Girl on June 4th. That's a classic, and that's that's kind of revived. It's on a big tour right now. It is. I've seen it before on the stage, and it's so different from the movie. It's mm -hmm. it's just as wonderful an experience, maybe even more so. Mm -hmm. So people can call Carol Sandusky to get tickets to yeah, see that's, that. That's, that's, and that's, that off it, that's off a little. It's on June 24th, so we have time to get tickets. And they sure have you get time to get tickets, and there is transportation provided. Okay. So, um, also for our members, on six consecutive Tuesdays, the temple's going to be uh, sponsoring an in-depth estate planning seminar mm -hmm. um, each week focusing on a different aspect of the process, like what new laws there are. And some people really need to look at their estate planning, their trust, their will. Sure, and so, update those things because those you know things can change as the years go by. Oh, we've had a, a new grandson or something like that along the way, you know, and they want to make sure that, that, that everybody's included and kind of the living will kind of a thing. It's really important to know the law and mm -hmm. to know what, what you need to do until you know all the aspects. Mm -hmm. So this is going to help our members, and we're holding that, <clears throat> excuse me, from 1 to 2, uh, 2 30 p.m., like I say, on six consecutive Tuesdays. It's free, and uh, people can call Stuart Hack to get more information Perfect. on that. You guys have a memorial concert coming up. Tell me a little bit about that on June 30th. Okay, I'm just going to tell you briefly that, okay. that it's on June 30th. It's at 2 p.m. in the PAC Performing Arts Center. Um, they're going to have 20 South Coast Symphony musicians directed by Barry Silverman and a full choir directed by Juanita Sue. And they'll perform the, movie, uh, the music from uh, Debbie Friedman, who is the, the great composer mm -hmm. of, of um, reform uh, music, mm -hmm. Jewish uh, music. and uh, Speaking of music, there's a new cantor you want to talk about? Yes, that's really <laughs> exciting. We have a new cantor, and she's going to start on June 14th. Mm -hmm. Her name is Stacy Morris, and she's a local resident, and um, she went to school in, uh, started at Brandeis University and went to California schools for her master's. Wow. Um, she's been a temple teacher. She's been a music specialist, Hebrew teacher, cantorial soloist for High Holidays. She has vast experience. She's a member of the South County Interfaith Council, and she studied with cantors William Sherlin, uh, Joseph Cole, and Rabbi Michael Akiba. And I think her experience, <clears throat> excuse me, and her voice, her terrific voice, mm -hmm. is going to be a big addition to our service. She's very enthusiastic, and we're enthusiastic Wow, to have sounds her. like there wasn't much of a choice there. I hate to hear who second place was. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they did an extensive search, mm -hmm. and we're just really excited with this Sounds amazing. Uh, this wonderful canter. Yes, it is. Now, you guys have some uh, a, a meeting on bereavement coming up, and what... And that's an important thing for anybody, and especially in this community, who's who's lost, and to know they're not alone, and to kind of get through that process, right? That's absolutely true. It helps a lot to have other people <clears throat> who know what you're going through, who mm -hmm. are there to support you. And our bereavement uh, meeting, our next meeting is Monday, May 6th, from 1 to 2.30. And it's in a rec room, and you can call Rachel Foreman or Ken Levin for information on that. Yes. Yeah, and I think sometimes people, that's an important one, because a lot of people sometimes they think, oh, I'm okay, or I, we knew it was coming, or something like that, and then they, they don't go through that process. So I think it's probably a great thing for people to exchange and, and understand that it, it hits people in different ways. It does. Everyone grieves in their own time and in their own way, and it can help to be with a group that understands. Mm -hmm. And you guys have a book club meeting that's coming up? Yeah, we have a whole lot of interest groups. They're called Havaraz, mm -hmm. in, uh, and they're special interest groups that temple members join. Uh, we have book clubs, dining out groups, discussion groups, all kinds of activities. Mm -hmm. um, our book club meeting is on April 16th at 10 a.m., and they're going to discuss the book Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. And all members are welcome and can call Harriet Schwartz for more information. Mm -hmm. 
that's a fun that's a fun thing to get together with book clubs. I think that's one of those like shared experience where you, you, when you read, it's a very individual experience. But then you want to have like I I just read this book, so it's kind of a fun thing to get together as a group and share what that experience is like for individual people. It does add a new dimension. That's for right. sure. It's right. fun. And you guys have a, the pur purpose of our connections committee. They're going to be uh, doing phone calls and outreach. And that's connection committee does. It's an yeah. ongoing committee. It started with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. making sure people were people okay. Were just okay, right? Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people that live alone in this yeah. community and, and that are alone in this area. So the Connection Committee is there to call them, make them know that they're not alone, give them resource information, mm -hmm. and we also now have started visitations mm -hmm. uh, to people who are just alone and need, need somebody in person to visit them. Yeah, and for folks who may be like, hey, I haven't seen you at, at the temple lately, or you haven't been seeing you out much, and maybe some, you know, some people just, they, their, their mobility starts to lose and they just can't get out as much as they used to, so, but they don't want to feel that disconnect of the isolation, right? You're absolutely right. Yes, yeah. that's true. And then everyone's welcome just to attend our Shabbat services each Friday night at 7.30 p.m. And now they're in the uh, pack in the dining room, too, at oh, okay. Clubhouse 3 for the next six months until Clubhouse 1 hopefully will be finished. <laughs> we never know. We'll get Re there. Renovations uh, take their time. Uh, we do ask that people um, be considerate and wear masks uh, to protect those who mm -hmm. are vulnerable, but it is not required. And, uh, and they should be vaccinated. And then if there's anything that you missed in this little talk that you, <laughs> that you need any more information or you want to make sure of a phone number or who to contact, please call our hotline at 949-589-1160 or check our website, which can be accessed through the Laguna Woods Village website under clubs. Now, I want, before I let you go, um, Reform Temple, it's not just a place of faith, it's also a place of community. I, if, I get the sense, obviously, from this list of things, not, not all of this has to do with worship, you know, but it's also have a real sense of community. What's it like for Commun people who are members there? Right. Community, it is a community, and community is a big part of our, of our religion, mm -hmm. uh, bringing people together, supporting people, taking care of people. Um, we worship together. We also play together and have fun together. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have so many haparaz, so many activities. Um, and we're volunteer uh, driven. It's a volunteer run. We have uh, our clergy mm -hmm. and our choir director. Um, and, but our choir is volunteer. All of the uh, activities are run by volunteers. It's an incredible community. Okay. So. Yes. Well, if people are interested, they want to get out and join that community, be part of that, they know how to get a hold of you guys. Reform Temple of Laguna Woods and Beverly Jenner. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Michael. It's always a pleasure to be here, and thanks for the opportunity. Absolutely. You're watching This Day. We'll be right back. Welcome to OCI Care, Laguna Woods' premier laser and premium cataract surgery center. I just wanted my cataracts removed. It was pain free. I was so impressed because I was so frightened to have it done. After surgery, I was able to use my eyes immediately. It was a miracle, really. It's just been wonderful to be able to see everything. It's even better than he said it was gonna be because I saw instantly. Whether you are physically active, playing pickleball or golf, or have trouble with daily activities, Trishula is thoughtfully crafted with your needs in mind. Our unique formula can help provide relief when you need it most. Apply a small amount to your hands, knees, neck, shoulders, or any other areas of discomfort. Gently rub in a circular motion until thoroughly dissolved. There are no artificial chemicals, just natural plant compound to nourish your body. Endorsed by athletes, loved by all, there is nothing like Trishula Organics. Don't let pain control your life. Take action today. At adapt to it we strive to make the everyday tasks easier by providing our customers with the tools they need to be successful. We carefully explain the use and care of all of our equipment. Adapt to it has been in Laguna Woods for over 20 years and we know that nothing in life stays constant. So we can help you adapt to all the changes in your life. Adapt to it sells and rents items and always delivers with a smile. Come in today to experience what we mean when we say when you can't change it, adapt to it.
Happy Friday and welcome back to this week's episode of Sports Corner. I'm Cole Young and we had some incredible weather this week as well as some major sporting events, so I'll get right to it. On Sunday afternoon, the Women's March Madness Tournament came to a close. In the national championship game, the South Carolina Gamecocks completed the perfect 38-0 season after defeating the Iowa Hawkeyes 87-75. South Carolina became the 10th team in Division I history to complete an undefeated season, joining UConn, Baylor, Tennessee, and Texas as the only programs to achieve this monumental feat. To make this even more impressive, they did this on a season where they had zero returning starters from last year. This is also the Gamecocks' third national title in seven years and second in the last three years. They are now tied with Baylor and Stanford for the third most championships ever. To make this year's title even sweeter, the title game victory came against Iowa, the team that eliminated them from last year's tournament. Iowa started the game red hot and jumped out to an early lead. The Hawkeyes were up by as much as 11 in the first quarter, and guess who set another record? Yep, Caitlin Clark put up the most points by a player in any quarter of a women's championship game when she dropped 18 points in just the first quarter. But South Carolina turned the tide and led the game for the entire second half, completing their 31st double-digit victory of the season. The Final Four Most Outstanding Player, Camilla Cardoso, finished with 15 points and a career-high 17 rebounds, and she is now the fifth player with at least 15 points and 15 rebounds in a championship game in the past 25 years. Cardoso is the only player from this roster that's entering the WNBA draft next season, so look for the Gamecocks to be right back in this spot next spring and continue their streak of being one of the most dominant programs in college basketball history. Caitlin Clark's historic college career has officially come to an end. She finished the championship game with 30 points, 5 assists, and 8 rebounds. She ended her collegiate career with the most points in Division I men's or women's history with 3,951. It's a very safe assumption that she will be the first overall pick in the WNBA draft, which is coming up on April 15th. The women's title game kickstarted the week, and the men's national championship game followed on Monday. The highly anticipated matchup between the two top seeds in the tournament, Purdue and UConn, tipped off on Monday night. Both of these teams dominated in the Final Four, and it confirmed what most knew all season, that these would be the final remaining teams. The first half of this game was a shootout, with both teams scoring back and forth in a battle of the big men. Donovan Klingon and Zach Eady were basically playing a game of one-on-one -on -one to start the game, and Eady was winning. With eight minutes remaining in the first half, the seven foot four Purdue center already had 14 points. He was dominating in the paint and could not miss any shot he took. However, although Edie put on an incredible performance and put up a stat line of 37 points and 10 rebounds, he couldn't beat the UConn Huskies by himself. UConn sat with a 36 to 30 lead at halftime, and that was the last time the game would be that close. The floodgates opened in the second half, and the Huskies would go on to defeat Purdue 75 to 60, winning their second straight national championship and becoming the first team to win back-to-back -back titles since Florida in 2006 and 2007. UConn guard Tristan Newton won the NCAA tournament's most outstanding player award after finishing with 20 points, five rebounds, and seven assists. And this marks the second time he has been UConn's best player in the championship game, winning the 2023 title game win over San Diego State. Newton went for 19 points, 10 rebounds, and four assists. I talked about how dominant South Carolina was in the women's tournament this season, but the UConn men's team has an equally impressive resume. After one of the most dominant tournament runs in history last year, where UConn beat its six opponents by 20 points per game, they somehow were even more unbeatable this year. In their six tournament games this year, the Huskies won by an average margin of 23.3 points. This means that, once again, all six wins came by double digits, making that 12 straight tournament wins by at least 10 points. The Huskies have truly entered the category of greatest college basketball programs in history. They have now gone back-to-back -back for their sixth title in 26 years. Only six other schools have produced back-to-back -back men's basketball champions, and UConn is now tied for third all-time with six championships. With head coach Dan Hurley at the helm, it seems like this trend isn't going to change anytime soon. Look for UConn to continue to be a top team year in and year out for at least the foreseeable future. Round two of the Masters is underway and started earlier this morning. Here's a look at the leaderboard so far. All the golfers will continue their rounds today, tomorrow, and the final round will be played on Sunday. The green jacket ceremony will take place at about 4 p.m. on Sunday afternoon, so be sure to tune in all weekend to see which champion will be crowned and enter their name into PGA history. Also continuing this weekend is more regular season baseball. And so far, I gotta say, 
I'm pretty surprised with the Angels. I'm sure many people around the country are in the same boat as me, and sure, they aren't by any means a top team in the league, but for a team that lost arguably the greatest baseball player of all time, have an owner that has been under constant scrutiny for never building that strong of a roster, and a pitching rotation that has never seemed to find their stride in many years, they look pretty solid. As of Wednesday, the Halos are 6-6 six and six and are in second place in their division. And much of, if not all of the credit, should go to Mike Trout. In his 14th season, the outfielder has been hitting like a younger version of himself as of late. He currently has six home runs, which is tied for the most in the league. However, we will have to wait and see if the Angels are able to keep up this level of play or crumble midseason like they do year in and year out. On the other end of the spectrum, the Dodgers are just dominant. They currently lead the league in pitching wins, RBIs, home runs, hits, pitching strikeouts, and a lot more. Shohei Otani is hitting just as good as usual, racking up doubles, home runs, and even a few triples on the season. Mookie Betts led the league in every single hitting category for a short while, but he's still top five across the board. If the Dodgers can continue this level of play all season, they will yet again be a World Series favorite. If you remember around this time last year, I talked about the Cincinnati Reds' young superstar, Ellie De La Cruz. De La Cruz made a name for himself with his incredible batting talent and his ability to run the bases, including stealing three bases at once last season. This year, he achieved another impossible feat. In a 10-8 victory over Milwaukee earlier this week, the lefty crushed a 450-foot home run to dead center. Later, this time batting right-handed, De La Cruz hit a line drive to shallow center. The ball rolled to the fence, and it eventually turned into an inside-the-park home run. He became the first player in history with a 450-plus foot home run and an inside-the-park home run in the same game. According to Opta Stats, the 22-year-old switch-hitting shortstop also became the first player in history to homer from both sides of the plate, hit homers both over the fence and inside the park, score at least four runs, and steal a base in the same game. Ellie De La Cruz is beyond electric to watch and brings some much-needed entertainment to the MLB. Hopefully, he'll continue breaking and setting weird records and setting new standards for years to come. Last week, the inaugural season of the UFL kicked off. It's surprisingly provided some pretty entertaining and good football. Currently, the San Antonio Brahmas and the Birmingham Stallions each sit on top of the league, both with 2-0 records. A while back, I mentioned how leagues like this are good for the NFL because they can test out rule changes and other wrinkles to the game, but also because players that might have fizzled out of the NFL or never got a chance get a chance to showcase their talents and possibly earn a spot on an NFL team. No player has made more of their opportunity than Michigan Panthers kicker Jake Bates. Bates kicked a 62-yard field goal for the Panthers on Sunday in a 20-13 loss at home to Birmingham. The booming kick came one week after Bates hit a 64-yard game winner against the St. Louis Battlehawks. To put that in perspective, only one NFL kicker hit a 62-yard field goal last season. Nobody made a kick from a further distance. Baltimore Ravens kicker Justin Tucker still holds the NFL record with a 66-yard field goal made against the Lions in 2021, meaning Bates' 64-yarder last week would be the second longest made kick in NFL history. Performances like that will draw attention from NFL teams, and apparently the Detroit Lions have already expressed their interest in Jake Bates. Between the Masters, the MLB, the UFL, and the end of the NBA and NHL season, it's a great time of year for sports. The NBA play-in tournament tips off next Wednesday, so be sure to tune in to the final games this weekend to see which teams can clinch a last-second spot. I'll be off-air next Friday as I'll be on vacation, so be sure to come right back in two weeks for all the sports news, updates, and highlights. I'm Cole Young. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Welcome to Envision Eye Centers, conveniently located next to Laguna Woods. We offer cutting edge technology that meets unsurpassed service. You and your eyes are my priority. We will treat you with the utmost care and compassion. Some might offer local exams, but they'll send you on a trek for surgery. Skip the unnecessary travel. You can be confident that we will deliver the best outcome for your eyes. Schedule your consultation today and see the world clearly. Call us or visit our website. No inconvenience, just expert care. Are there foods you miss enjoying because of loose or missing teeth? At Flor Stanger DDS, we understand the joy of savoring every bite. Serving all of Orange County, our team of dedicated professionals are here to guide you towards a healthier, happier smile. 
and we will give you the best solution to improve your oral health. Call us today at 949-830-0074 for a free exam and consultation. Rediscover the pleasure of eating and smiling. Call Flora Stanger DDS today. You have a club for every scenario. A driver for the long holes. Wedges to get you over the hazards. And a putter for when you need a touch of finesse. What about your retirement? Will you have enough to play the back nine? Call to set your 15 minute phone visit today and let's find out. Get a second set of eyes on your retirement plan. Welcome back to this day. It's time to take a look at the Friday movie that will be playing here on Village Television today. Friday's movie is Lars and the Real Girl, starring Ryan Gosling, and this is being brought to you by Hogue Medical Center, and this will air today at 2 p.m. with subtitles and tonight at 6 p.m. without subtitles. And this movie is about extremely shy Lars, who finds it impossible to make friends or to socialize. His brother and sister-in-law worry about him, so when he announces that he has a girlfriend he met on the internet, they are overjoyed. But Lars's new lady is a life-size plastic woman. On the advice of a doctor, his family, and the rest of the community, go along with his delusion. And now taking a look outside at the weather. Today it's partly sunny and cool with a high of 68 and a low of 53. Tomorrow on Saturday it'll be cool with a 45% chance of showers. On Sunday it'll be mostly cloudy with a 35% chance of showers. On Monday we'll have partly cloudy skies and Tuesday brings mostly sunny skies. This seems to be a trend lately where uh, it's nice during the week, but then rainy on the weekend. So that will continue again this weekend. Looking ahead tomorrow on this day, Jessica and Ronate are here with Memorial Care, and they're going to talk about the Thrive Spring Special, or the, yeah, the Thrive Spring Social. So definitely a fun event to look forward to. So thank you so much for watching. For this day, I'm Bobby Higgins. Have a great day, everyone. Are you struggling to hear in your noisy dining room? Do you have to pause and think about what people are saying so you can figure out the words? Do you find yourself lost in conversations? Can you hear but you don't understand the words people are saying? You need to get on the ARC. No, not Noah's ARC. This is Stuart's ARC hearing aids with artificial intelligence. You will never know how much better you can hear until you listen to the clear sound and noise right in our office. Call us today. Don't miss the boat and tell them Stuart sent you.